just doing a small tutorial of how to do your skin for a Scania uh, next gen. Um, pretty simple way of doing the, the to line up your picture on the wind deflector. Um, so firstly we're gonna I've got a little picture selected here and there's my template so I'm basically gonna select the background highlight that and I'm gonna copy that all right, then open up a new uh, tab. Uh, see this? It is on the the size that we need for the template, so I'm just going to say OK there, and uh, Control V to paste in what I need. So now, just to change the colors a bit, so I can see what I'm doing, we shall just turn that black and then paint that in. Now, I need, I want to use that left hand side wind uh, uh, deflector, uh, but it's your choice of which one you want to use. So I'm just going to select that and then I'm going to copy it, open a new layer up and paste it. So now I don't need that anymore, I'm just going to hide that away and just make sure that's selected. So I'm going to say Control A to select the whole image and then Control C to copy it and go back to my Scania template and open and uh, add a new layer in and say so control v to paste it in and as you can see it lines up precisely the way we want it okay so now there's the image i'm going to just put in so i'm going to say control a control c to copy it and then go back to my template add a new layer in again uh, zoom out and let's say control v okay so there's the picture we're going to put in Drag it down a bit, let's zoom in. Okay, so now it is slightly too big, so holding the S button in will shrink it on the scale that it is. Okay, and we can just move it around, twist it a little bit, uh, maybe make it a bit bigger. Okay, but it's as your preference or whatever picture you're putting in is pretty simple and straightforward. Okay, now the wind deflector, we're back to that. So let's select it on the layer and the magic wand and there we go. So now, uh, go to the little arrow at the top there, move selected pixels, shortcut key is M, okay. So we're going to click on that and using the keyboard, uh, the arrows, we're going to go right there and it's going to move the whole thing across. The mouse can be used, but the mouse will also move it up and down, and we don't want that. So let's move it across and line it up. Um, this is trial and error. Your first couple of times I do know you will mess it up a bit. So let's just line it up on that middle line there on the bottom. Uh, there we go, about there somewhere. We're going to have to just check that. So now we have... On the truck in the game, that's where the wind defender sits more or less, and that's what we need to copy across. We do note that we've got some excess sticking out, we can just delete that, but that's not a problem. So let's just select our layer again because we've got the uh, deflector highlighted. So we select our actual image layer and then copy. So whatever's highlighted on the white there, the picture itself will be copied, and then we can just add a new layer in and uh, paste it across okay so just to show you what I've done let's hide that that's what we've got okay so now let's hide the actual reflector all right so now we can move this image back to where we want it so we can just with the arrow on the keyboard drag it back across so we're going to line outside to outside it'll line up 100%. Okay, you see everything corresponds. Okay, let's just open this picture up again. And there we've got a bit of double hairline in there, we don't want that in. And we can just simply click on that bottom layer and delete it. You see everything on the uh, highlighted uh, deflector will, will disappear but that is what we need and that is now sorted out so we can take the layer and merge the two together uh, we have now the one now let's zoom out okay so now we can
Control A to select the whole image, Control C to copy it, uh, and then add in a new layer and paste. So now we can go up here to the top, go to the layer that we've got here and flip it horizontally and it just lined up 100% on the other side. So you can add in more layers, more pictures of what you like, but the principle stays the same. Okay, so we can just save this now um, in case we have to adjust something on it. If it doesn't line up, this is the easiest way of doing it. Uh, so save as a PDN folder, and you can see I've got a couple here already. So I'm just going to name that uh, as an, a test, and let's save that. So we can come back to it and change it if need be. And uh, now for the newer versions of Euro Truck Sim 2, it's best to save it. But now we need to get rid of the background. We don't want that showing up on the truck, obviously. So get rid of that and then save it as a DDS folder. Okay, and then we can use that DDS folder and use it on our Mod Studio 2 to create our template and that is as simple as it's going to be.